Drops de Ciência. Resumos de grandes notícias com cientistas e acadêmicos brasileiros, você confere aqui. Em sua palestra no Simpósio Internacional Sociedade e Natureza, promovido pela ABC, o especialista em políticas públicas Ricardo Paes de Barros apresentou alguns dos principais avanços socioeconômicos do Brasil nas últimas décadas, mas alertou que a baixa produtividade do país representa um perigo para seu crescimento e competitividade no cenário global. Em 1990, 85% of municipalities in Brazil had a, a human development index below 0.5, with a very low development level. Here in 2000, it's about uh, uh, 45%. Ten years later, that's the map for Brazil. So we change from this to this. Brazil get this reduction in inequality that you can see that Brazil starts in an inequality very large and it's declining. Uh, 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 You can see the gap in inequality between Brazil and China going down, and the inequality is going down in Brazil for uh, 10 years in a row. One big problem for Brazil, this is the growth rate of uh, earnings in Brazil. So this being 130 means that uh, in eight years, we increase labor earnings, real labor earnings, by 30%, which is very good. The problem is, when you look at the labor productivity, and the labor productivity increased by less than 15%, then you get concerned, because you say, well, workers are getting 30% more, but they are producing just 15% more. And we are in trouble because this graph gives you the labor productivity 30 years ago, and the labor productivity, let's say, today. And uh, this 45 line means that uh, the Brazil labor productivity 30 years ago and the Brazilian average labor productivity today, it's about the same. So we are, uh, we have stagnated in terms of our labor productivity over a 30 year period. 30 years ago, China had a productivity that was equal to one tenth of the Brazilian productivity. And now China is approaching the labor productivity of Brazil. And once China surpass Brazil in terms of labor productivity will be very hard to put Brazilian products in the world uh, and competing with China.